So we've built our email, now it's time to send it. Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and hopefully you've already watched the getting started video for the email stacks and you've built your first email, okay? Now in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to take that and then get the raw HTML for it and then get that into your favorite email service. Okay, now there are tons of various email services out there. Um, in this particular video, I'm gonna be showing you mine, but remember this works with MailChimp, Sendy, um, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, Campaign Monitor, uh, you know, all of them, okay? Because it is just HTML, um, any uh, email service will obviously support that. So without further ado, let's jump in and show you how easy it is to get your email out of Rapid Weaver and into your email service. Okay, so here is the getting started email that we built in the getting started with email video, okay? So to get this ready to send, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get the inliner stack that is inside the email utilities stack layout group, okay? Go ahead and drag that onto the page. Now, this can be added anywhere on the page, it doesn't really matter. However, as it says here in the notes that if you are gonna be publishing your email, make sure that this stack is not on the page. This stack is purely to generate the email, HTML, and then once you're done, probably just delete it and remove it from the page. Now, one thing you're also gonna to wanna to make sure is that when you are previewing your page, you're gonna preview at full width, okay? So we wanna make sure you're not in mobile view, you wanna make sure you're in full width on your desktop. And as you see here, I hit the preview and it magically displays a light box that has two versions of our email already compiled for us. It has an, the inlined HTML version and it has a plain text version of our email, okay? Really simple. Now, if we wanna get this HTML, all you have to do is click this copy to clipboard button. So now I'm gonna go into my email newsletter software, okay? And I'm gonna paste in the HTML into the email editor. And as you see here, I have my email that we designed inside RapidWeaver ready to get sent out to my email list. Now, if you're worried about subscribe buttons and things of that nature, make sure that every single email service kind of has a different macro syntax. This particular one, if I want an unsubscribe link, I would put this bracket unsubscribe bracket into the unsubscribe link. Okay, more details on that when we get into the vendor specific videos on how to use each individual service. Now we can go and take a copy of that plain text version of the email and paste that into my service as well. So now we are gonna be sending the plain text version and the HTML version out to the customers all at the same time. So as you see, it really can't get much simpler than that. We add the inliner stack to the page Make sure that, you know, again, we preview in full width so that we get all the proper media query is built properly, okay? And then we click the copy to clipboard button for the HTML and we paste it in our email service. It really is as easy as that. Now, I can't wait to see the emails that you build. So please go ahead and make sure that you join our email space on Weaver Space Community and, and share the emails so that we can learn and, and see all the amazing things that we are all building using the email for Rapid Weaver Stacks. So until then, thank you very much and enjoy email. Bye.